Right, welcome to another uh, edition of my two cents training tips for martial arts. Uh, and this one, I'm going to focus on a topic that I don't often like giving advice about. Um, but first off, I'd like to say, obviously, we're coming up the, the festive season, as you can see by the tree here in my friend's house. So, you know, happy Christmas and everything to all of those people uh, celebrating Christmas. And to, to those who don't, well, just enjoy like a, a holiday period or a break off from work if you get one. Um, now, I don't usually like giving advice about food and eating, etc., etc., because what I don't like to do is I don't like to put I don't like to put walls on people's training. So I don't like to say, "Oh, I do this, uh, eat like this," um, and if you don't eat like this, well, you know, you know, you're not going to succeed. You know, people are different, people's bodies are different, so some people can eat junk and do well, other people, little things really affect them, etc, etc. So, but anyway, my two cents today is about sugar, guys. Added sugar. Um, so, the two cents training tip for today is not necessarily to cut out altogether, but to reduce your refined sugar um, for a lot of health reasons. I do this... I've done this for quite a while now, I believe it's about two years or so, um, and it's just, a, it's just a thing I do, uh, part of one of many things, um, and the reason is, guys, uh, that, I mean, it's a broad subject and lots of health and fitness people and weightlifters and all will tell you about it, but the reason is, in a nutshell, is that uh, the white refined sugar that they literally put in everything these days, um, it's readily accessed by pathogens in your body, so bad things in your body and in your stomach, etc. Um, if your immune system goes down, they access it even better. Uh, and, and the reason for that is, it's just, it's literally almost pure energy in its, nearly in its purest form. You see, if I eat a bowl of oats, carbohydrates, that will eventually be turned into sugar. But in its state like that, it needs work to be done on it. And that's what your body does. Your body works on it, breaks it down, divides it out. You have that, you have that, you have a bit of this, I'll have some of that. Brilliant, yeah? The problem is, white refined sugar, you eat it and it's in everything all the time. And it just means that the level of bad things in your body will just be at a high all the time because there's so much spare sugar for them to feed on easy. And then, if your immune system goes down a little bit by stress sickness, whatever, a, a, a condition, these pathogens will just thrive on that sugar and they'll begin to take over and you can get sort of mold, uh, you can get candida problems, yeasts and funguses and everything and you can have overgrowth issues and, and, and it, can lead to, um, it can lead to all sorts of health complications. Um, that, that, you know, some, some are sort of theories at the moment, some are known. Um, so the best, the best bet is, the best bet is, even for just your, the sake of your teeth, I would say to you guys, cut down on the white refined sugars. Now, how do, oh, how do I do that? Well, you just have to give it a try. I would say cut down first, then cut out. But what I'm talking is the bag of white refined sugar you have in your house, throw that out the window. Yeah. If Obviously, sweets and cakes and all that, um, either limit those severely, limit them, or, or cut down on them, or don't have them at all. I don't have cakes and sweets and stuff, um, which is a, I'm a bit boring. Uh, and I'm a bit. I was a big fan of cakes and sweets and sugars a couple of years back, but now no, um, I don't put any added sugar. And it even, I mean, I can I can make a broader video on the subject, guys, if everyone wants. But you can research it yourself, even to the point of. You know it's added in all our foods. So what it means is you're going to have to also perhaps eat more self-prepared, ready, you know, foods that you buy yourself. So you buy your own veg, you buy your own meat, you buy your own beans, um, things like that. Because added sugar is in your daily breakfast cereal. So for me, for instance, daily breakfast cereal, I eat just like oats. Yeah. And you say, well, how do you make it sweet then? Put maybe some cinnamon on the oats. Yeah. Now, even for me, I'm not a total cutout sugar. Yeah. So what I'll do is every very rarely I might have the odd biscuit or something that someone offers me, usually out of courtesy rather than the fact that I want it. Want it. Um, and what I tend to do is uh, at the moment I just use a little bit of honey. If I, you know, like on my breakfast cereal, I'll put a little bit of honey. Now that is also just 
that's counter to everything I said because that is just pure sugar but it, at least it's kind of an animal refined sugar it's a bit better um, so I'll just have a little and I won't go crazy um, and fruits and stuff like that are good but even uh, for myself you know I, I've lowered the fruit you know so I haven't gotten rid of the refined sugars to just replace the same amount in fruit but but certainly um, when you're starting to get rid of sugar that's fantastic you make yourself a bowl of porridge a bowl of um, a bowl of whatever uh, and instead of putting the white sugar spoon tablespoon sugar on it you know cut the banana in there put some berries from one of those frozen berry packs or something like that you know because they're they're, they're easy to keep in the fridge aren't they so it's just a few ideas guys um, this is a hell of a broad subject and that's another reason why I don't really go into diet and this and that. But I do obviously have my own diet and things like that that I eat and do. So maybe I can go into that some more. But yeah, my two cents for the day. Um, it's gone on too long. But try and cut down or cut out refined sugar. And that's in everything. It's in all your food, so look out for it. But certainly you can affect that by at least cutting out the refined sugar that you put on stuff. So the white sugar... Throw it out the window. Some fruits, yes. A bit of honey, yes. But that dirty white sugar, kick it out. Yeah, because it's um, not to everyone, but it can be a bad thing. A lot of people, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's all sorts of theories linking cancer and this and that. But it's not so much the sugar, it's what lives on the sugar. So anyway, guys, good training, good festive season. Hopefully, I'll see you again for another two cents at some point before Christmas.